everyone. I just went to see the Miracle Club and I loved it. It was wonderful. That's my review. You should just go to the theater right now and go see it while you can still watch it in the theater because it's just beautiful to see up on that big screen. And I mean, honestly, that's all I really have to say. No, no, I'm just kidding. You know me. I have so much more to say about this movie, but really, I just want to hit you hard with the idea that this is a beautiful film. It's a lovely film, and I highly, highly recommend it. So the Miracle Club is about a group of women in the town of Ballygar in Ireland, and they win a trip to the town of Lourdes, which is in France, and it's known for kind of its healing or miracle properties. And so they're all really excited to go because they all have different ailments. But before they go, um, one of them had passed away and that woman her daughter has now returned so the movie starts out with the return of her daughter whose name is Chrissy and it's been 40 years since Chrissy's been back to Ireland and so the movie really takes off from from there it's the interaction between these women that is just so powerful I mean, it is a beautiful film visually to watch. But on top of that, there, there just is really something special about the storytelling that happens in this particular movie, where you have multiple generations of women, all of them with different but related problems. And then one major problem that revolves around the character of Chrissy. And with her return, old wounds start festering and kind of coming to the surface. The film really is about what these women go through and kind of their daily lives that have led them to this point. And it's a point where um, some old baggage and old history comes to the fore and suddenly it has to be addressed and it's really painful and it's really awkward and they're angry and bitter toward each other but you can also tell that they all really love each other and they're working to kind of make the best of it and get through this moment and one of the big reasons they go on this trip is one of the women her name is dolly um, her son doesn't speak. And so she has some, some, I don't want to give away spoilers, but she has some hidden um, anxiety and fear and, and guilt that maybe somehow she caused his, I don't know, his inability to speak. And so she's looking for a miracle to kind of get him to talk again and these women all come with a different story so what we have is um Eileen Eileen Dunn is played by Kathy Bates who's oh she is a magnificent actress her situation is that she is a housewife she has six children she has a lump on her breast and she's scared she hasn't been to the doctor and you know, everybody counts on her and there's really never any time for her to do what she needs to do for herself. And so this trip really is her doing that first step to do something for herself. It gets complicated by the return of Chrissy. Chrissy was her best friend when they were younger, but Chrissy got pregnant and, you know, this this film takes place in the 1960s. So, you know, here we are 40 years later. So that means Chrissy got pregnant in the twenties and that just doesn't happen. That just didn't happen in Ireland and the things that women, young girls were expected to do when they had a baby out of wedlock um, really kind of made her need to leave. So she, she was forced to leave and that, impacted all of their lives and all of their relationships in some way and I'm 
kind of skating around what that means because there's there's some spoilers there that are really important and very poignant. And I don't want to give that away um, in this review. We also have Lily Fox, who is played by Maggie Smith. And oh my God, like Maggie Smith, again, this is an all-star cast, an amazing group of women. Maggie Smith's character, Lily, is the mother of a young man named Declan, who is um who is best friends with Chrissy and Eileen and um, Declan has now passed away and there's some drama and trauma associated with his passing. Um, But Declan was also the father of Chrissy's child. Um, And so there's a lot of undercurrent there and Chrissy really feels like Lily was one of the main reasons that she was made to leave. And then of course there's Chrissy and she's played by Laura Linney. And what a wonderful actress she is. She really brought this lightness to the character. Um, You can tell she really cares about, about these other women in the movie. And these other women that are are in her her life and her character's life. And yet there's all this pain, all these dredged up feelings, all of this misery. And you can tell she just, she just wanted to be loved. She wanted to be accepted. And that never really happened for her. And so this really is the story of how women were treated and how women um, banded together or betrayed each other and what it was like to be a woman in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and how important the little things were in their lives. With the Miracle Club, uh, they they really go deep and they go into those relationships and they don't shy away from those hard moments and those painful memories. And I i mean, I defy you to watch that movie without a couple tears. So bring a Kleenex, bring a link, bring a Kleenex with you. I think it will be helpful. I know I'm like wiping my tears of my shirt sleeve because I didn't bring a Kleenex. So word to the wise. Um, I highly, highly recommend this movie. It is, I think it's a wonderful generational movie, especially for women, young girls, and families. I think if you have someone special in your life that is meaningful, this is a great film to go see that, go see with them. And I I do hope people go see this in the theaters. I mean, this is the kind of movie where you feel like it's making the world just a little bit better. And you you can feel those changes. You can feel the love. You can feel the pain. And at the end of the film, you know, without giving away anything, there is a lightness. There is redemption. I mean, things are still painful and things are still raw, but they've, They've started to address some of those wounds. You start understanding what the female experience was at the time. And then you think about our experiences today and really how how much time has passed and how many things have changed. And sadly, how many things are still the same. These movies that really drill into the female experience, it's a way of helping us to kind of grow past those moments, heal those moments, and learn to talk to each other about the things that matter to us as women. This really is one of those films that will give you an insight into some of those things. And again, I highly recommend it. It's a great summer film. It's probably one of the more meaningful films that's been out this year. And um, if you like this film, I also recommend The Quiet Girl. It's another Irish film 
that's just a gorgeous film and very rich in story. All right. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this, this review and I hope you go see the film. And if you do, please come back and let me know. And while you're here, please also hit subscribe. I would love to have you in my YouTube movie community. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Enjoy the film. Have a great day. Bye.